Okay, this is uh, the fun sheet for 5.2, physiological adaptations. Okay, first we need to find out what a physiological adaptation it is. It is a biochemical change or reaction okay, that occurs within an organism's body. If you have Mrs. Brules, put a B in the upper right-hand corner, and if you have Mrs. Gunner, put a G in the upper right-hand corner. So now we're going to go and we're going to look at some animals that have physiological adaptations. First one you need to label and identify here is the rattlesnake. And what it has is it has venom. Its ability to produce venom is a physiological adaptation. Okay. Next here, we have a dart frog, okay? And this coloration tells those around him, hey, guess what? You better stay away because I am poisonous, okay? So here's our dart frog. He is poisonous, okay? The next thing we have here is a plant, and if any of you have ever grown a plant in a windowsill, excuse me, a windowsill, you'll notice, uh, if you leave it there for a few days, that it bends toward the sunlight as it grows. Okay. Next we have, these are called uh, stomata, and stomata, you can't see these without a microscope, but if you were to have um, a leaf and you could get the cross section cut thin enough that you could uh, see the bottom side of a leaf, you would see these things called stomata. Okay, and what they do is they open and they close during different times, not types, sorry, times of the day, all right, uh, depending upon the weather conditions and even what type of plant it is and where it's located. Like, for example, um, I want you to write desert here, and that desert plants, the stomata, stay closed at night, and they actually open during the day, so you need to write that down. So, in the desert, they are open at night, and they're closed during the day. And they do that um, just so that they don't lose a, a whole lot of um, moisture. Now, uh, and some plants have modified stomata, but <clears throat> overall, if a plant does have them and they are going to open and close, and this is how they get in carbon dioxide, is through this uh, stomata channel here. Uh, so it's important that those open up, but when they are opened, they can actually lose water. So they have to be really careful about, uh, especially in extreme environments such as the desert, when they actually allow these to open up to draw in the carbon dioxide uh, or allow it to come in. Because if they opened up during the day, they would have a tremendous amount of water loss. And, of course, that would um, kill the plant. All right. And we have a skunk. And what does he do? If he feels threatened or attacked, he sprays his solution, okay? So he sprays that smell, and you better get away. All right. Next and last, we have a spider, okay? And what a spider produces is a web. Goodness, I gotta go. Spider produces a web, okay? And this is a physical, physical, lot excuse me, physiological uh, adaptation, all right? Uh, because without it, he would have difficulty catching his um, prey, the food that he's going to eat. All right, so this is 5.2, short and sweet. So at the very bottom, there is an open section, and what I'd like for you to do is you can be as creative as you like, but I would like for you to come up with some type of physiological adaptation that you think would be very beneficial to you as a human, name it, and then explain how it would help you survive in the environment in which you live. Okay, this is um, the final fun sheet looking over um, the different types of adaptations, 5.2.